Hey there, welcome to a new video. In this video, I will talk about velocity and how it helps shaping the velocity of your MIDI clips. So let's dive into it. Here I have uh, this Omnisphere with uh, a preset loaded. Here I have this melody with all these notes with the same velocity and it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so now let's play with velocity and let's see how it works. So here we have this graph that uh, simply tells us how low and high velocities are affected. So now we have a linear graph, so it means that the velocity isn't doing anything. So now, so here we have operation and this chooser selects whether the velocity effect should apply to MIDI not on velocities, so the velocity, or MIDI not off velocities or both. Then we have uh, the mode, so we have clip, gate and uh, fixed. So clip mode clips uh, not velocities so that they remain in range. Then we have the gate mode that blocks uh, nodes whose velocities are out of the range. And then we have the fixed mode that remaps all node velocities to the value out of the high control, so which is this one. So if we have fixed, we have <laughs> we have the same thing. Then if we have the clip mode, let's try playing with other parameters such as the drive. So here we have the same effect on all the notes because all the notes are at the same value. So, so let's try bring in some more variations so we can see how it works. So now the loop sounds like this. Okay, now let's turn on the velocity. So all the notes, all the velocities are pushed up gradually. Now let's go with the comp. So the comp basically makes uh, this shape. So like this uh, we have lower notes going lower and higher notes going higher but uh, there's the center that uh, is uh, quite equal. And that it's flattened out. Then if we go like this, we have all the high notes kind of flattened out and the same for lower velocities, but we have a huge discrepancy between the high and the lows. So let's see how it sounds like this. Now let's do the other way. So way more contrast. Then we have the random. So the random, as you can see, expands uh, all this line. And this means that uh, for this given value, there isn't only this other value, but also all these other range of values and these other range of values. So so it basically randomizes this effect. Then we have the out high. So this is the maximum value of uh, the velocity that we want. So this is zero. And then we have the out low, which is uh, 
the other way. Then we have the gate and if we have notes out of this range So it's considering only the notes within this range and the other ones are cancelled out. Last but not least, this range is really useful to select which notes we want to affect. So if we are in clip mode, for example, we aren't cancelling out any note, but we are just choosing which one is going to be shaped. So let's go like this. So we have more control over a narrow range and we can apply the comp and have it scaled within this range. Something like this or like this, something like this. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.